We left Cody, the Cody, Wyoming area, and headed up into Montana on our way to Glacier National Park. And we stopped in a small town called Harloton, Montana. And unbeknownst to me, uh, Harloton was the start uh, of the Milwaukee Road electrifying their main line west from Harloton to Avery, Idaho. And this was done in the early 1900s and what it did was it gave them an advantage over other railroads because the ele electrical system was much more efficient than steam for operating in that harsh environment, especially during the winter time. And I didn't realize that Harloton was a railroad town at all. And when we got there, uh, here was this electric locomotive uh, in a little display area. And so I kind of looked up some of the information about it. These things were built by General Electric, this particular model, in 1915 and was re were used until 1974. <laughs> <laughs> Almost a 60-year run for a piece of equipment <clears throat> is pretty impressive. But the Milwaukee Road uh, it was getting expensive to keep things updated and with the advent of the diesel electrics and improvement over the years of them, they made the decision to stop the electrified system and dismantle it. And today, there not only is there no or are there no catenary lines left, which I would have loved to have seen, but there isn't a single railroad track in Harloton. It is no longer served by any railroad at all. But kind of a sad story, but a nice piece of history preserved here. We headed west out of Harloton, and the plan was to head up towards Kalispell and we'd spend a few days in that area and we'd use it as a home base. There's a forest service campground called Swan Lake and we were going to stay there and uh, visit Glacier from that point, you know, visit the west side of Glacier. But the fires were causing so much trouble there, there was uh, smoke everywhere, the visibility was limited. We stayed at Harper's Lake on our way to Swan Lake. And the other campers in the campground were almost exclusively evacuees from the fire near uh, Seeley Lake, just to the north of this. So we spent the one night there, and then we did make it on up to the Swan Lake campground. And we spent uh, four or five days there, um, catching up with everything, getting our mail, and we did try and go in the east, or pardon me, the west side of Glacier, but the fire near Lake McDonald basically closed the road that you would normally use to go further into the park and see the really you know, special areas of Glacier. So basically we decided at that point that we would leave uh, the Swan Lake area and just go on over to the east side of glacier and approach it from that side and we got over there and stayed in a place called St. Mary's campground and it turned out to be just a fantastic decision.
how wide those spots are. Plenty of room for a car alongside if a person wanted to. How's that? Did you get Goose Island in there? Well, let's see. You gotta move over just a hair. See it? Yeah, it's, it's behind us there. Get it in there, between us, would you? We're gonna have. I don't let's see go it. Just a, it's very small. There. See it? In the background behind us. There. Steps. You can take a shower right there, man. You sure could. Oh. Gold one. <laughs> yeah. Don't fall off there, lady. And this is the first time that we've had the ability to see much of anything because of smoke everywhere. And we had a system move through for a couple of days that left the snow behind in the mountains and cleared the air. And it is very pretty, just what you'd expect the glacier to look like. And there's where we're camped. And right here in the road, maybe 200 feet from our RV, is a large pile of bear poop. So, yeah, there's a reason they don't allow tents or any kind of soft sided. camping equipment here uh, because because of the bears they will simply tear their way into a, a normal tent it's pretty evident that they eat lots of berries because you can see the remains of the berries in there anyway St. Mary's Campground, Glacier National Park. Winter comes very early here. It's been freezing at night. I can see it. I see it blowing in the wind. It's got antlers. Oh, it's got little ones. Oh, majestic. I wonder if that guy is taking pictures to see him. No, he's taking pictures of the mountain. Oh my god. Oh, I did good. I found a moose dizzy. Wow, just standing out there. It's just enjoying itself. Wondering, oh, probably stuff. wondering where all the water went. Wow. Oh my god. Look at the beard on that. I know it. So you think it's a male or a female? It's a male. It's a bull moose. He's got big antlers. You just don't see him that well from this angle. The wind's blowing our scent his way. Whoa. He's starting to kind of...